dirty And first, don't call it quits. Of course, that's what our relationship expert, Jane Fendelman, always says to us. Um, and she encourages us. We have relationships in trouble. And today we are talking about bonding as a couple, right, Jane? Bonding as a couple. Bonding as a couple. And there are okay. two ways that couples bond. The okay. first way is through shared experiences, both good and bad. And the second way is through co-parenting and blending your parenting styles. Oh, okay. So, so that can be that can be a difficult time sometimes. You know, the, the children come along. You have a lot of experience. <laughs> the kids come along, and the kids can actually um, sometimes they actually blame the kids for ruining their relationship. Yeah. Is that true? A lot of couples come in to do therapy with me, and they say, "We were fine. We were great. We were happy. Yeah. And then we had kids, and now we're stressed out all the time, and we argue all the time over how to parent." And one of the ways that a couple can bond is through learning how to blend their parenting styles. And if you have kids, you have to learn how to blend your parenting styles. And there's good stuff about both of your styles. And then when you put them together, there's a synergy, a beautiful, you know, the, the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. And so sometimes that's probably a good thing to, also initially when you're even dating someone, to find out kind of some of their basic beliefs and make sure you kind of have somebody that's kind of a little more similar on the same page at least as you, right? Yeah. 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 Very smart. It's handy to you know some of that. Kid, yeah. Stuff like that. And you say there are some simple cures. Now they're already married. Maybe they're having difficulty with this. What are some of those simple there's cures? There's some simple cures. The the simple cure is there's something out of balance, and there's something that has not been reconciled between the two of your the two of you, your parenting style or something in the relationship. And so I have some simple questions that you can ask yourself. The questions are simple rectifying to get to the resolution may not be so simple so and what are those six the, cure questions The six cure questions the first two questions are does your life revolve around your children and I know this is hard to to uh, correct this balance because when they're first born your life does kind of revolve around them but you have to realize that if you do a good job as a parent your children will leave you and if you do a good job as a spouse your partner will never leave you so their life has to revolve, that's the healthy way, is for their life to revolve around you. If your life revolves around them, they feel like a little king or a little princess, and they can become kind of a tyrant, a little tyrant. Yeah, so and they run the show. They yeah. run the show. Yeah. Does your, and number two is, does, does their behavior determine your mood? So I have people come in, and there is a four- or a six-year-old little person who, your happiness is in their hands. That's, we have to change that. Then questions three and four are, do they control you by getting you to control them? And do you repeat yourself? So I have people come into my office with their teenager and their teenager starts to sit like this. Yeah. <laughs> and what does the parent say? Parent says, straighten up, sit, sit up, up right. Yeah, okay, yeah, so the kid yeah. sits up, and then five seconds later, they're sitting like this again, and the parent says, sit up, sit up, sit up, sit up, sit up. So I can get you, I can control you by getting you to control me. So that means I'm in charge of you. Oh, if you have gotcha. to have me sit a certain way, I don't care how they sit. That doesn't have anything to do with whether I feel respected or not. The uh, last two are, do you do their homework? Don't do their homework. You already went yeah. to school. <laughs> yeah. And let them, how, can, how are they going to learn how to become self-motivated if they're not doing their own homework? And do they sleep in your bed? No. Now, why might that be a problem? Yeah, that's a big problem. Why yeah. might that be a problem? Yeah. And um, I just want to say, these, six, these are six of the questions that I ask when I'm working with people when kids, their kids have ADD, ADHD. These questions are actually the things that you need to ask yourself, ask yourself to find yeah. out. Th these are actually causing ADD and ADHD. Oh, some of those items. They're the oh, causes. Wow, that's interesting. Yes, ma'am. Now, what does it mean if we've answered yes to any of those questions? If you, if you have answered yes, that means there is an imbalance in the home, in the relationship, in the family, and you need to see how uncomfortable you are with making those changes. So it, it's really a personal inventory where you're asking yourself, do I do these things? Yeah. Are right. these things adding to the problem? Can you see how these are adding to the problems? Right, right, exactly. And, and, and well, the some of those. And yes. how can people get in touch with you? They can call me at 602-532-0335 or they can go on my website, janefendelman.com. Okay, Jane, thank you. Good thank job. You, All righty.